fulani imefata. Going to be bloody. Hey, ndwa nangu msaja. Wa rojo yenda oku kalakata. One of his young daughters got missed. Tomorrow when I become minister for crocodiles. Nobody can beat me. <laughs> Today is Independence Day, a day to look back at progress made in the last 47 years. Tonight, Point Blank will focus on governance issues using a biblical analogy as told by former ethics minister Miriam Tembe. Because I believe that Jesus Christ was the most successful politician that ever walked the earth. An analogy of Jesus' sojourn on earth is Miriam Tembe's starting point of discussion. He set us an example to follow. And blessed are those politicians who can emulate his style of leadership. What was Jesus' formula for success? That man, Jesus, declared his five-point program as expounded in Isaiah chapter 61, verse 1 to 3, to be implemented within three years. And how did he do it? He appointed a cabinet of 12 men and had a civil service of some men and women. He was very clear on his vision. In other words, Jesus Christ had a lean cabinet and the public service had gender equity. Even at one time, you know, his followers were planning to get him by force and, and sit him on the seat like these people who say stay, you know. But he ran from them and refused to succumb. You mean he declined requests for him to continue staying in power? His leadership gave people hope. So they kept following him even long after his death. In other words, he left a legacy that has made him forever immortalized. It is more than 2,000 years now since Jesus left this earth. But his followers are increasing day by day. Who has such a legacy? Honorable Matembe, did this man Jesus have any faults? This man Jesus knew the weaknesses of his disciples. But instead of demonizing and sucking them, he accepted them as they were. <laughs> and did this man Jesus achieve positive results? He accepted them as they were, molding, nurturing, forgiving, and praying for them. No wonder when he left, they were effective and capable of taking after him, not just having a vision with no followers. <laughs> So how would you describe that type of leadership, Honorable Matembe? That type of leadership is, <laughs> is called transformative leadership. Leadership with ethics and integrity while abiding by the rule of law. It is the most scarce resource in Africa, Uganda inclusive. That is a story well told, Honorable Matembe. Leadership of integrity includes leadership with zero tolerance to corruption, of which Uganda's leadership is hard pressed to achieve. When some of these uninformed lecturers in, in, in global matters, they come to lecture me, you lecture me about what? What don't I know? Your Excellency, Justice Kanyahamba will tell you that many, including judges, talk about corruption. Mr. President, Your Excellency, sir. Uganda will support and applaud you if you start weeding out those nearest to you. You can't get rid of corruption by witchcraft. But Your Excellency, Kanyahamba says it is possible to weed out corruption without witchcraft. Some of them have just read the, 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 the book of Genesis. When God said, let there be earth, and there was earth. And then on Tuesday, he said, let the water... And, and, the, and the land separate, and they separated. I'm not God. Again, Your Excellency, Justice Kanyahamba pleads that let there be no corruption in Uganda. Otherwise, the public and the voters generally will despair if your bold condemnation of corruption and abuse of office are not followed by immediate and effective actions of, dis of discipline, dismissal, Prosecution. I cannot say, let there be no corruption, and there is no corruption. 
This is a difficult debate, but for one man, who does not fail to have an answer for the most difficult of situations? I have told you that like the Quran says, you should not eat pork, okay? Pork is haram for a Muslim. But if you are in danger of death, and pork is the only thing available, survive first, then we shall see what to do. That is religious suicide, Honor Watafire. Give us another practical example. You may not use marijuana, but if it's medically prescribed, if it's medically prescribed, you, you use it. Agnes Nandutu, point blank. Very poor planning methods. Going to be bloody. One of his young daughters got missed. Tomorrow when I become minister for crocodiles, nobody can beat me. 